Mom was falling down drunk. She refused to let me or Catherine help her. She won't even consider going back into rehab, huh? If you would have seen Mom lying on the athletic club floor, drunk and passed out, you wouldn't be asking me that question. Well, I guess that explains how Deacon was able to drag her off to elope with him. Yeah. Tried beating some answers out of him, too, but didn't really work. All Mom did was defend the creep. I honestly don't understand any of this, Nick. I mean, why is she self-destructing like this? Unless... Go ahead and say it. Because I've been thinking the same thing. What if Mom killed Diane? And Dad is trying to get convicted to protect her. Well, I'm disappointed you won't be joining us at Chabot, but I am happy you got the magazine back, if that's where your heart is. Yeah, just like yours is in the family business. <laughs> I'm also happy to hear that your life has taken shape again. Delia is recovering. You and Vicky are back together. That's all I ever wanted. You were away a long time. No phone calls, you didn't write. Why? Circumstances beyond my control. What pretty much circumstances covers would keep you away from the people you love? Jack, I wanted to come home. I really wanted to come home. It's the truth. And what part of the truth are you leaving out? Victor. He wanted me gone for good, and he almost made it happen. So Victor managed to mess things up for you, for Delia, for Victoria, for your entire family in one fell swoop. Man is nothing if not efficient. But you know, something good did come out of all this. He was able to find me when no one else could. He brought me back so I could save Delia. I didn't turn into regular old Victor the control freak. I mean, you know that there's nobody else in the world that can tell Victoria what she can and can't do besides him. I mean, that's his job. <clears throat> Why didn't you tell me about this? I could have straightened this out in minutes. Jack, I know. I... You had a lot going on. And Kyle really needed you much more so than I did. And I'm a grown man, man. I can fight my own fights. As much as I would like to blame it all on Victor, I <clears throat> screwed up very badly, and, uh, well, I gave him the opportunity to take advantage. But everything's okay now? Yeah, sure hope so. Well, I'd like that answer to be a little more reassuring. I'm just happy that Victor was wrong, and my wife forgave me, and right now I just want to put all of this behind me. I hope they lock that bastard away until it's time to bring him home in a box. Yeah. Well, you think he killed Diane? I don't know. Do I think he's capable of killing Diane? Absolutely. But I was stunned that he actually confessed. But you know what? Whether he did it or not doesn't matter. After all the things that bastard has done in his lifetime, he deserves exactly what he gets, and then some. If mom is the one that killed Diane. It suddenly makes sense. Dad confessing, mom going off the deep end like that. I don't want to believe any of this. What if it's true? I mean, Vic, what do we do? What can we do? I mean, what can we do? Can we call the police and trade dad behind bars for mom? Well, oh, they're all happy to see but I got these in. What's wrong? We're kind of starting to think that it might be a possibility. The story about mom coming home from rehab the night Diane died explains a lot. I mean, about your father covering, taking the blame? Mom falling apart the way she has? Is there anything I could do? I just want to go and talk to mom. Will you come with me, please? She's not going to want to have anything to do with me, so you go. I'll go check and see what's up with Dad's situation. After all these years, 
and everything that they've been through. And my dad must love my mom so much to do this for her. I understand. I would take the fall for you and not even think twice about it. I need to find my mom and I need to get her to talk to me about this. You want me to go with you? No, thanks. Um, I think the only way that I'm going to get through this is knowing that you're at home waiting for me. Things were just, you know, so dark while you were gone. They were terrible. And now this. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Good Lord. I don't want, oh. No lectures, okay, cause I'm just not in the mood. May I please come in? Okay. Can I make you a drink? I got all the fixings. No. Honey, it'll make you feel better. Why are you doing this? Why? Why now? You're scaring me, Mom. No, 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 don't be scared. You don't need to be afraid at all. That's what I'm saying, okay? Now listen to me. You just need to forget everything that happened in the park, okay? Your father and I will protect you. You don't have to worry. You are completely safe. I'm not gonna tell anybody. Your father's not gonna tell anybody and I will make sure nobody says anything. Safe? What are you talking about? Safe from what? I knew you don't have to worry. Okay, Diane was just hideous. She ruined so many oh, people's lives, and I'm not going to let her destroy yours. Wait, hold on a second. You don't think that I killed Diane? Shh, 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 shh. Don't, don't even say it. No one will know your father, and I will, will do life sentences for you if we have Mom! To. Mom, I don't know what you're thinking or what's going through your crazy head right now, but I... I did not kill Diane. She was evil. Evil. And I and your father will protect you always. We won't let anything Mom, happen to Mom, you. Mom, listen to me. Okay, listen to me. I may have been in the park that night. Okay, but I'm not a murderer. Honey, it doesn't matter to me. I still love you. I will always love Mom, you. Mom, look at me. Look at me. Stop it. I swear on Reed's life, I did not kill her. Okay? You, you did uh, not? Mom, really? no, no, for the last time, no. I did not kill anyone. <sighs> hey. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm with Mom now. Did you have a chance to... Hold on a second, wait a minute. How, how can this be happening? Okay, all right, yeah. I'll tell her. What? What? Tell me what? Dad's going back into court. <sighs> Nick thinks that this time the judge might accept his guilty plea. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What do, what do we do now? What do we do now, Victoria? <sighs> and now it seems like we're doing this all the time. I prayed a lot for Delia. 
I promised you that if you could save my little girl, that I would be a better man. And it took some time for me to get to a place where I could live up to that, but I'm there. And I want to keep my promise. For Delia, for Victoria. Please don't let anyone hurt her again. I just want to give her the best life that I can to be the husband that she deserves. And if you could give me a sign that I could actually live up to that, I would be most appreciative. With regard to sentencing, I have read the arguments from both sides. Diane Jenkins was a woman in the prime of her life. Her young son has been left without a mother. It wasn't enough for you to violently bludgeon her to death. First, you injected your victim with a drug to paralyze her so she could not fight back. This adds a level of cruelty and inhumanity that, quite frankly, turns my stomach. Therefore, the court sentences you to imprisonment at the state penitentiary for a term of 25 years to life. No! Y you can't... He didn't do it! 